Hello beautiful Cancers, this is an energy update reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus of Cancerian friends. Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. I'm glad you stopped by, I hope everyone's doing well. This is Irish Donna Tarot. Alright, so let's take a look Cancer and see what the energy is for you at this time. At the bottom of the deck we have, ooh, the Lover's card, Gemini energy, the Emperor card clarity truth oh i like that energy for you all right cancer so this is your person this is your energy staying very balanced very libra energy very calm cool and collected very logical staying in your power but you are very much in love with your person the two of cups you want intimacy sweetness joy happiness possibly a long-term relationship here a font well I think you definitely want a long-term relationship with your person. You'd really like to plan a future with them. I think you're very compatible. You have very similar views on many things. It would be an easy relationship in your opinion. The Fool card says that you want a new beginning. A new beginning usually implies that there has been a separation of some sort or just that you need to have a reset on the relationship. Your person's energy, Cancer, Four of Water. Right now, they're not giving you a lot of attention. I feel like their attention is averted elsewhere. They're in a period of time in which they're not very happy, but they kind of don't know what to do about it. I don't feel that that has anything to do with you directly or indirectly. Eight of Fire. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> they are having thoughts of what lovemaking is like with you. It does appear that you had a very significant relationship with this person and they are missing you. Again, I don't feel like they're really reaching out or talking to you, but the Eight of Fire is communication coming in the near future. It's very passionate. It's very happy. It's funny. It's energetic. It's throwing caution to the winds. I like to call this the Horizontal Mambo card. Everyone, please keep a fire extinguisher by the bed. All right, the fortune's wheel, I love it. Destiny is turning in your favor. The circumstances around your person that has kept the two of you apart, I think for a bit of time for sure, uh, is turning in your favor. They've, they've really had some success recently that's going to reflect well on their ability to be calm, cool, and collected. I get your person looks like they were probably under a lot of stress at one time. The king of air is your person's ability to really uh, come back into the relationship in a very clear-cut manner, really letting you know what they want with you, what they can give you. And, you know, a step forward, it's Aquarius energy. It's very... It's very intellectual. And look at this, the queen of air, the king of air. So it looks like you're going to have communication. Those are the two communication cards of the tarot. All the swords are. So let's see what the outcome is. Eight of water. So I was correct. There was a situation in which I feel as though there's been a separation. So when we look at your outcome, we're looking at the history of the eight of water. Um, let's see what's going on now. Nine of fire, they have fire in their belly. We're going from the eight of fire to the nine of fire. So you are progressing in this relationship for, for them to take action. Nice energy for you, Cancer. Ace of water, a new beginning in love with you. Love it. Ace to the two. Nice energy. Okay, it looks like your person is about to step up. Oh, the sun card. This is great energy. It says it either by the 19th of the month or within 19 days. Longest period of time would be 19 weeks. You will come together with this person. Your person doesn't really see this as having been a major breakup. They just knew that they were trying to seek something in their life that I still don't think they found. And I feel as though they made the mistake of walking away from everybody, everything, including you and they find that they just aren't happy they're they're having this epiphany with the wheel of fortune that you were not really a part of that problem you have been and always have been a big part of their happiness i feel as though they grew a little bit cold and detached with you but we have the sun card for your outcome 
So let's look and see what the wisdom of the oracle has for energy for you at this time. What is the overall energy between you and your person? All right, so let's see what we have. Three cards, please, for our Cancer friends about the outcome and the direction this will head. Well, the fates, destiny, the wheel of destiny brought is bringing you together again. Let's see what else we have. Let's see. This is a card of truth be told. I love it. So that's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That's what I see. Your person's going to be very straightforward with you. You're going to be very straightforward with them. I love the energy of the sun card. It's the most important card in my viewpoint for having a relationship uh, that can last a lifetime. It really speaks to the fact that no matter what, you have a tendency to always be drawn to the life force of one another. Look at this. Clean it up. Truth be told. Okay. So I love this energy for you, Cancer. That is both of you looking at things that you could have done independently. You'll discuss it. You'll tell the truth. You're going to really have a very good, happy reunion. I feel as though the language that you use will be gentle but honest with each other. I really do feel as though your person had a bad attitude for a period of time and somehow that got pinned on you and they really recognize now with that clarity of the king of air that really didn't have anything to do with you they had stuff of their own they needed to clean up you know we all have a little cleanup on aisle five right we're human so anyway cancer thank you so much for taking time with me sending you love from chicago send some back tell me where you're from